going to just ask people about uh, Manzanar and what you thought of Manzanar. In fact, if you want to look, because I'm going to have them look, uh, I made comments on your papers here. So why don't you guys, when, when I began teaching, uh, I had always felt like students are like seeds. And you know, you can throw a seed on a rock and it won't grow or put it in soil and it'll grow. But uh, the, that potential, even a seed on the rock, has that potential to grow. And uh, I think every student needs the opportunity to, uh, to grow. And they can, and they do. I, I try to get people, uh -huh. speakers, to come in and talk to them, try to get them involved in things and uh, events like that. Field trips uh, I like are go good. Back. And uh, my experience, it's kind of snowballed because when I do one thing, uh, like at Manzanar, when we were at Manzanar, somebody came up and gave me a card and invited us to the Japanese American Museum. So it's uh, some of it is just momentum and you kind of get going with momentum and with the students so come and remind me that have had me before and say are we going there this year or so and so you know people coming to talk to us this year holocaust survivors have come we had a holocaust survivor last year a descendant of frederick douglas and uh i want the kids to kind of synthesize that all and put it together and compare the things that happen and the things that don't happen it sort of motivates students to learn. It gives them more knowledge to learn. When I first began uh, teaching, I was teaching uh, ESL students, and I realized that they needed to build their uh, base knowledge to write, because it's difficult to write if you don't have uh, many things to say and you can't compare it to other things that happen too. So it, it kind of builds on their knowledge. Uh, there's not a student when, uh, well, we, we wrote about Manzanar this year. There was not a student that didn't have a lot to say about Manzanar once they heard about it. And when the Holocaust speakers come, there's n the most reluctant writer will be writing with that. Uh, I think it taps into their passion. And there's sort of a, a, a common thread running through all the things we've done. And it's not just those two events because we've uh, talked about Frederick Douglass. We talk a lot about uh, civil uh, liberties and justice for people. And I think the students are concerned with that too. The root is history, but the object, the, my goal is the future. And, and the students are the future. So I think in order for them to be effective, they need some kind of perspective about the world too. And I'm trying to give them that. Part of my passion in teaching is my personal love for learning. Uh, but I want to empower the students, and I, and I see that happening, and when I see that happening, that's when you feel it. Not, not in your head, but in your, your guts. I do love what I do. Uh, I'm past the magic number of 80 that I can retire, and I'm still here. So I'm definitely here by choice. It's fun. It matters, too. That's why I really do.